using a visual timer. I found good success with phones just because parents always have their phone. What I like to do is I like to ask the child, would you like to do this activity for two or three more minutes? Then they get to have some choice in how much longer they're gonna do their activity. Then I say, okay, we're gonna set the timer. Now you press start. And when the timer goes off, it's going to be time to transition to the next activity. So I think like you're saying, sometimes you can get the child to buy in if they're able to swipe one right. of their schedule images away, or if they're able to say, I want two minutes, I'm going to press start. They're bringing some awareness to their part in the transition. Kids love them. But again, we have some kiddos that maybe that's not a good option for them to have a device. And so I've had families that I've recommended getting the sand timers. Then it tells us that you can write the numbers on there if that's what you need to do for a kiddo. Or you can just tell them, you know, when the timer is out, we're all done. And I'll even give them an option. Just like you said, I think it's really important to let these kids have some control and giving them those options. I'll say, would you like to do the timer or would you like me to set the timer? Usually they want to, they think it's really fun. That's great. I've seen those Sam timers at the dollar store. Very useful. Yes, definitely.